Cornwall's wonderful coastal heritage can best be explored by boat. Rugged granite cliffs, awesome anchorages, beaches, and hopefully good weather too. Join us on our voyage of exploration to discover how history has shaped Britain's favourite coastline. Virtually all the harbours that we can visit when exploring Cornwall's coast have intriguing tales to tell. And what are today quiet coves often have centuries of hidden secrets. Think of Cornish harbours and most people will think fishing. And it's true. Every cove and creek along Cornwall's 300 mile or so coastline is home to fishermen and their boats. Some of the tiniest coves have sustained their own small fisheries for centuries. With little protection from prevailing westerly winds, fishermen at Penberth, on the Land's End Peninsula, have been hauling their boats to safety above the high tide mark for countless generations. Likewise, in Cadgewith, facing east on the Lizard Peninsula, little has changed. Fishermen there also still haul their boats up above the high water mark. They mostly target the crab and lobster that's fairly abundant in these waters. It's really worth anchoring off Cadgewith and going ashore to experience a true Cornish village. As long as when you're anchoring, you keep well clear of the fishermen's store pots. And the pub is definitely not to be missed. Particularly on a Friday night, when locals get together to sing shanties till the early hours. Back in the day, huge shoals of pilchards would appear off the Cornish coast in mid-July to be caught in vast numbers. This is the liquid silver that brought prosperity to generations of Cornish fishermen. By the 1850s, seining was in decline as the pilchard shoals diminished. Overfishing was the cause. Drift netting using much larger steam-powered drifters no doubt contributing to the disappearance of the shoals. Only now, after more than a century, are the pilchards returning. Let's hope that the lesson of past over-exploitation has been learnt. Newlyn is still one of Britain's biggest fishing harbours. Every type of vessel can be found here. Huge offshore craft land their catches direct to Newlyn's fish market, where buyers bid at auction for the freshly caught fish, which are then transported by road to Britain's cities and beyond. Small local boats, often just crewed by a single man, head out to sea in almost all weathers. These are the successors of countless generations of Cornish fishermen, who have braved these waters since men first inhabited this wild Atlantic peninsula. These boats still serve the local market, the fish being literally taken from the sea direct to the table or to your door. Newlyn used to be very unwelcoming to visiting pleasure boats. Things changed recently and provided you can get one of the visitors' berths it's a great spot to spend a night. It's home to my favourite restaurant in the county. No Michelin stars, but a place where you eat chicken and chips with your fingers, washed down with mead. And don't miss out on Gelbert's ice creams. They only do one flavour, vanilla, with the optional extras of a topping of clotted cream and a flake. So be warned, don't enter the harbour if you have a dog on board. They are strictly prohibited and the regulation is strictly enforced. But as well as fish, Cornwall was also rich in another natural asset. 
Martin.